Hey, good evening. Welcome to Three Minutes with Mike, your weekly download from the prophetic lowdown. For the last several years, it seems that end time prophecy after end time prophecy appears to be leading us to a place that the Bible calls the Great Tribulation. Uh, Jesus was discussing end times when he revealed in Matthew 24, verse 21. He says, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world uh, to this time. No, nor shall uh, ever be. Uh, John the Revelator, uh, John the Beloved, said in Revelation chapter 7, verse 14, about this same great tribulation. He says, there are they which came out of the great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. So the Great Tribulation is a thing. It is a real event. As the pieces of the prophetic puzzle begin to drop into place at a breakneck pace, I'm reminded of a biblical prophecy about the coming Antichrist uh, that will rise in the end times during the Great Tribulation, and he will proclaim himself to be the true Messiah. Uh, and he will do that at a very specific location. It will be in the Third Holy Temple in Jerusalem, which many will believe will be the sentinel event that engages or ignites a sequence of several other events uh, like apostasy in the church or rapture of the church the second coming of christ uh, in the first days if you will of the last days uh, the antichrist will claim to be the savior of mankind the peacemaker the healer the unifier uh, with the power of uh, the power over death itself now, visionaries and future casters are, are warning that an artificial intelligence uh, created deep fake type of video uh, could be the beginning of the end of truth as we know it. Because corrupt politicians, world leaders, and despots would be able to deceive the entire population into believing whatever he or she wanted them to believe. In Revelation chapter 13, there is an account of, an, a, future, of a future event that will give the appearance that a person, um, a person that's being used by the devil in the last days, where that's the false prophet, the beast, the antichrist, this individual is killed with a head injury and is resurrected from the dead. And this event will draw many people into believing that this person, this antichrist, this false messiah is in fact the savior of the world. Well, here's what the Bible says in the book of Revelation chapter 13. Verse 2 through 4. The beast I saw resembled a leopard that had feet like those of a bear and a mouth like that of a lion. The dragon gave the beast his power and his throne and his great authority. One of the heads of the beast seemed to have a fatal wound, but the fatal wound had been healed. The whole world was astonished and followed the beast. Men worshipped the dragon because he had given the authority to the beast, and they also worshipped the beast and asked, Who is like the beast? Who can make war against him? What if this event is a type of a deep fake video situation that is video streamed around the entire world? A video that looks so real, genuine, that looks so authentic, that it fools people into believing that a resurrection has occurred. In fact, I want you to look at this picture here. Um, this is a, a, a simple app that you can get for your phone. Here's a picture of me uh, on Obi-Wan Kenobi's body. And here's another picture of me with a mullet and two things. I have not been to Mustafar in a very long time. And B, I have not had a mullet since 1985. Jesus said in Matthew 24, 24, for false Christ and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and miracles to deceive even the elect, the Christian, if that were possible. So y'all, in coming days, I want you to be alert, be aware, uh, for the father of all lies does not care about Democrats or Republicans, doesn't care about uh, Americans, Europeans, Asians, uh, Africans, doesn't care about white, black, yellow, uh, brown people, black folk, doesn't care. You see, the great deceiver is all about his kingdom and destroying anything of God. And if he's not destroying the things of God, then he'll pervert the things of God. And if he can't pervert the things of God, then he will make the things of God appear irrelevant. Y'all test the things that you're about to see and hear in coming weeks, because the great deceiver's time is short. And he's looking to make every moment matter and every symbol speak to complete his demonic mission to deceive even the elect, if it were possible. 
I encourage you to support this ministry by giving online at uh, chesterfbc.org. We would also appreciate your prayers on a regular basis for the ministry of uh, CFBC. Uh, we would invite you to come join with us in person worship this Sunday uh, and Saturday. We have our drive-in service on Saturday evenings at five o'clock. Man, we'd love for you to come. And it's a nice, we're, we're gonna have great weather. What a great night to have a service outside under the stars. And uh, on Sunday morning at 1030, we have in-person live worship. Uh, we have a special section for a uh, mask being required. And we have other sections that uh, masks aren't required. And the social distancing is maintained throughout the whole service and in the building. We'd love for you to come and uh, be a part of what God is doing at uh, First Baptist Church even now, even during the COVID season. Uh, God still has a purpose for this church and we celebrate his glory and we thank him for it. Y'all, we invite you to come to Chester First Baptist Church where we love God, we love people, and we're trying to live like Jesus. God bless you.